Welcome to rainy Mobile, Alabama, as our 1-1 one one Tigers of Grambling State open Sunbelt play against the 2-0 South Alabama Jaguars. First quarter action, Austin keeps the option right, gets a great block from Jones, and gains 16 yards. A few plays later, Austin drops back and throws a rope to Clark on the slant for 17. Then Austin goes back to the air, hitting Salmon across the middle. The senior turns it upfield and gains 23. A few plays later, Charlie Brooks would punch it in from a yard out, Gramlin up early 7-0. South Alabama goes three and out, and Austin goes back to the air, connecting with Gunn on the curl route. He spams the circle button and gains 21. Then Higgins takes the handoff up the middle, weaves through traffic, and gains 16 yards. Next play, Austin keeps the option right, drops his shoulder, and picks up nine. Drive stalls Roscoe on to kick the field goal, but he pushes it right. No good. Jaguars would take over. Minter takes the handoff, finds a small crease, and is off to the races. He stiff arms Bridgewater and is brought down after picking up 28 yards. Then Garvin goes play action and connects with his favorite target, Francis, for a gain of 16. A few plays later, Garvin goes back to the air and tag out the touch pass to Sam Harris for a gain of 24. Then Trey Menzer takes the handoff and cuts it back and walks into the end zone. We're tied up at 7. GSU back on offense, and Charlie Brooks is running hard. He goes up the middle here for 11. A few plays later, Austin goes back to the air. He hits Clark on the drag, and he fights his way for the first down. Later in the drive, Austin would drop back and hit Higgins coming out of the backfield for 12. A couple plays later, Austin keeps the option right, tries to put a move on the corner, but still picks up nine. Then the freshman would drop back and find Jordan wide open in the end zone. Tigers back on top, 14-7. USA with great field position, and Garvin is keeping the option right. He sheds two tackles, finally brought down by Freeman after picking up seven yards. Then Garvin tries to go option left, but big Cam Richardson gets to the QB for a four-yard loss. Jags go three and out. Then after the Tigers go three and out, Garvin goes play action, and he throws it just out of the reach of Bridgewater, and Harris comes down with it for 26. Then Minter tries to bounce it outside, but Markel Jackson drags him down for a one-yard loss. Later in the drive, Garvin drops back and hits Francis across the middle. The big tight end gets upfield for 15. Then Garvin goes back to the air, has tons of time, and finally hits Harris in the back of the end zone. We are knotted up at 14. Ensuing kickoff, Nichols two yards deep, and he's bringing it out. He starts up the middle. Makes a nasty cut to the outside. He gets the corner, and he turns on the Jets. 102 yards to the house. John Nichols gives the Tigers the 21-14 lead. 13 seconds left for the Jags. Garvin drops back, tries to hit the drag, but is picked off by Shy, and he is gone. Diedrich Shy picks six to the house. Grambling goes up 28-14. And that will be your score at the half. The offense looking solid, but let's see if the defense could keep the momentum going in the second half. USA starts the third run, and Garvin keeps the option right. Bridgewater misses him, then Garvin sheds Jackson, and he's off to the races. He's got a lot of green in front of him, but the turf monster stops him from scoring. Next play, Garvin drops back, scrambles out the pocket, and throws a rope to Harris, this time for 18. Then Minter takes the sweep right, gets the edge, bowls over Bridgewater, and fights his way into the end zone, cutting the lead down to seven. GSU will show off their running game. Charlie Brooks goes up the middle, follows his blockers, and gains 15. Then Higgins takes the counter right, cuts inside, then back outside, gets the corner, and turns on his Jets. The junior stiff arms his way for a gain of 42 yards. A few plays later, CB23 would get touchdown number two on the day. GSU back up by double digits. But here comes USA. Mentor tries to bounce the handoff outside, but Donald Freeman is there to shut it down. But Garvin would make up for it. Check out this throw to McCray for 13 and the first. A few plays later, Garvin goes play action. He has tons of time in the pocket, throws it deep, and Baker comes down with it. And he's tackled after a 48-yard gain. Two plays later, Mentor tries to sweep left. But John Nichols is there for the four-yard loss. But Minter would get his third TD on the day and uses a nasty stiff arm on Bridgewater. GSU's lead is down to seven. But the Tigers running game looking strong. Higgins takes the counter. And look at the move on the corner. He gets tripped up for a gain of 11. Then Austin would drive back and hit Higgins coming out of the backfield for a gain of 14. Drive with Saul and GSU settles for three. 
USA will come back out throwing. Garvin hits McCray on the curl, and he's tackled after a gain of eight. Then Minter takes the handoff, tries to bounce it outside again, but Markel Jackson is there for the one-yard loss. Jags going for it on fourth down. Garvin with the deep drop and hits Harris on the out route for 12. And here comes Minter. He takes the handoff, cuts it back the other way, has tons of space, turns it upfield, and is pushed out after a 28-yard gain. Then Garvin would drop back and find Francis on the corner route, first and goal Jags. Next play, Walters takes the handoff and goes absolutely beast mode to get into the end zone. GSU's lead is down to three. Tigers looking to ice the game. Higgins takes the counter left, cuts it inside, and picks up 12. Then Higgins goes back to the counter right. He drops his shoulder and picks up 10 more. Then CB23 gets into the act. He takes the handoff, cuts it upfield, makes a move back to the middle, and picks up 20. Then Brooks would get his third rushing touchdown on the day. GSU back up by 10. But the Jags are still fighting. Garvin with the deep drop. He has tons of time, no pressure, and hits Francis on the comeback. Jerry brings him down by his face mask to tack on another 15 yards. And Garvin goes back to the air. He's just chilling in the pocket. And his mentor wide open on the cutback cheese. The back turns it upfield and is finally dragged down after picking up 32. Next play, Garvin goes back to the air and hits Rankin-Meyer across the middle, and the big fella bounces off a defender and gets into the end zone lead back down to three. USA sets up for the onside kick, but freshman Demetrius Gunn is there to recover it. Grambling takes over, and that would do it. Austin takes the knee, and Grambling wins their first game in the Sun Belt in a thriller, 45-42. Phil Austin finished 11 of 15 for 134 yards, one touchdown through the air. On the ground, Charlie Brooks was a man. 22 carries for 156 yards and three touchdowns. Will Higgins had a big day as well, nine carries for 100 yards. Salmon and Clark both had three catches on the day, and Jones had the one touchdown receiving. On defense, Markel Jackson and Donald Freeman both had nine tackles, and Diedrich Shy had the pick six to end the half. What a way to kick off Sunbelt play. Next up, a battle with the Georgia State Panthers. Thanks for watching, guys. Up next is the Tigers Den podcast, where we will recap the win over USA and take a look at the new recruits added to the board. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to hit those links in my description and follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram at Big C Got Game. And we'll talk soon. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.